of the news tonight. We, of course, now just hours away from the 53rd annual Pride March. And even if it does rain, you can count on hundreds of thousands of people celebrating. Eyewitness News race and culture reporter Crystal Cranmore has more on the party leading up to tomorrow's big march. From Greenwich Village to Harlem, people are partying hard this weekend, celebrating love and being unapologetically themselves. Rama, 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 ga, ga, ooh, la, la. Folks were out and about in Greenwich Village, living loud and living proud. Just having fun of friends, celebrating everything, and now I'm just like glad to be who we are. Pride celebrations took place across the city. This is the sixth year of Youth Pride in Brooklyn. So an event like this is very important because a lot of queer youth need a very safe space to be themselves. And at a festival in Harlem. You have to stand up to the hatred and the bigotry. Governor Kathy Hochul with a message to New Yorkers. Happy Pride! Feeling the groove and waving pride flags high along 12th Avenue, hundreds celebrated generations of LGBTQ people who have fought bravely to live openly and authentically. We're here just to celebrate being queer. Lauren and Rachel Suplis have been married one year this week. Today, they're celebrating each other and their right to be together. We met at undergrad at Rutgers University. And, you know, we got to know each other, we were friends, and we just fell in love. The Anti-Violence Project was on hand to provide resources and support to the community. Organizers say there's been an increase in the number of LGBTQ people experiencing repeated acts of violence. I mean, it's telling us that um, there are folks who are actually making planned attacks and planning to target LGBTQ people. Nearly three dozen pride flags were broken outside the Stonewall National Monument in Greenwich Village last Sunday. It was the third time this month. NYPD says it intends to beef up security as thousands plan to attend the 53rd annual Pride March Sunday. This is my first pride. Aida Hawes is visiting from Atlanta. She has little concerns about security. Everybody is very open and warm and welcoming. And is looking forward to making memories. I love the inclusion. The NYPD says there are no specific threats regarding the march. The fun kicks off at noon. In Greenwich Village, Crystal Cranmore, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. And we invite you to stay with ABC 7 as we celebrate Pride. Tomorrow, Pride Across America will air at 11 a.m., followed by the Pride March at noon. All of it right here on Channel 7 and wherever you stream ABC 7 New York.